to say about um, this setup here is um, people come in here all the time and they're like, um, the people come in here all the time and they're like, oh, this is so pretty here. And I'm like, thank you. But there's also tons of math and planning that went into building this whole place, right? So I have, um, and you can see it in a second when we go over there, but I have these lights right here are specifically a warmer tone to mimic kind of the morning light coming in or that golden hour light coming through the window. So I have warm tones here opposite this cool tone background. And then I have the same, um, the same saturation level of blue as I have in the brown here with the gold and the contrasting here, the warm and the contrasting, and then with these white accents right here. So this whole area right here is set up specifically Everything is color toned for a very specific reason. And then I have, a, and then I have the gray curtains on the other side that are a, that are a neutral tone to um, not detract from that. And then I even have the furniture here is also ivory, so it's a little bit of a warmer tone than uh, just, just straight white. So um, that's what I wanted to say about the color over here. You mentioned something about the blue with the skin tone. Yeah, so, so um, I really like shooting uh, skin tone against blue because it creates this natural contrast and brings out the, uh, the oranges in the skin. It brings out the warmth in the skin. And so everyone has, like, no matter what your ethnicity is, you have the, this warmth level in your skin. And shooting it opposite a cool background um, creates a really cool color tone um, effect for that. So I really love shooting opposite um, opposite that right there and um, yeah so now let's migrate over here okay so uh, following up on what I was saying about the color over there um, here we have a different color situation so we have these muted tones this uh, muted green with um, this muted tone couch with this kind of uh, beechwood flooring and and then, of course, the white curtains with this little punch of crimson and also this rich tone desk right here. And I have these lights right here are much cooler. So these are like, I think, 6,000 Kelvin. And then I have these are 3,000 Kelvin um, LED bulbs right here. So what you have is if you shoot like this and you have cool light coming here and you have warm light coming from this direction opposite these muted tones, and then I got this wallpaper right here because it has this gold in it and the metallic gold, um, it kicks back just a little bit. It catches the warmth of these 3000 Kelvin LED bulbs and it reflects just a little bit of that warmth and catches that from those bulbs. So it adds a little bit of warm glow right here. So you have cool, warm, muted tones with this accent of this crimson right here. So if you're standing right here, or the model, you know, uh, and you have blue light here, and then instead of having that, that lantern, that chandelier, we have a, a real chandelier right here, and it's filling in from cool from this side, warm from this side with these muted tones. It creates gorgeous, gorgeous color toning straight out of camera. So, um, Jess, let's have you come over here. Okay, so now what's happening here is you have this light and it is shooting warm light in this direction, right? So just if you step back a little bit, right? So now, now you're more, now your face is more in line with this warm light coming from here opposite this cool light. So if you face me this way, you have warm light this way, cool light this way. And then step forward a little bit, a little bit more. See, so now you have just the cool light hitting here and just this tiny amount of warm light hitting on this side. And then, oops. And then you can see if I turn off the chandelier, the effect of just of adding that warm light, what it has to it, right? So no warm light. And then we just add that little warm glow opposite that cool color. So let me get this camera out of the way. And then let me show you something else too that we could do here. So we can't dim these lights, 
but we can control them with these blackout curtains. So if I pull this right here, you see now you get a much more dramatic effect. I'm going to turn this off. And so now you can control the brightness of this light right here. Yeah, see, so right here, you can see this angle that she's standing, the way the light races across her back. So you're, we're controlling the direction of the light, or in this case, the direction of the light by the way that she stands against the light and rotates her body around it to create those highlights. See, so now she's got the chandelier light dumping on her back, and it, right there at that angle right there, Jess, you see you have that light from the back racing across and adding the, that contour of the highlight shadow, highlight shadow, that ripple effect on her back from controlling those highlights. And then turn your back just a little bit, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, yeah, perfect. And then just grab um, the curtain with your right hand a little bit low, uh, lower. Yeah, and then with your left hand, grab it. Oh my God, you see, look at her back. Yeah, that's the detail. That's you see, just straight out of camera. And, and what we're doing is we're hitting, we're hitting those highlights and the shadows, the highlights and the shadows, by having her so close to an ultra soft light source where you have that rapid fall off. It just, it's that's, just next level pretty awesome. straight out of yeah. camera, right? We're not, we're not dumping light on someone, we're crafting, we're accenting, we're, we're pulling out the curves and the contours that are already there but we're just highlighting them. And we're doing it with the directionality, we're doing it with her angle to the light, we're doing it with balancing the ratios of the light with the different um, outfits that she has, the diff all those different things. Now, um, let's, do, let's move on to some couch poses and then let's play with lasers. So, um, now, with the couch, um, we have this light right here is, is going to be the key light. And so the closer you are to the edge, just if you scoot a little bit more this way, yeah, perfect. And then um, because this couch backing right here is going to create a shadow on the, um, from this light going across. So if she is sitting like scooting in the back corner, you're not going to get the light from, from this right here. It's going to be in shadow. So now that she's right here, this light is coming across the body right here, raking across this direction and hitting her body, creating a shadow. And then we have this, this warm light right here. Now these light bulbs right here are just like a fraction, a fraction of the, of the brightness of these right here. So this is also another 24,000 lumens. This combined right here is like 200 lumens. Okay, so this is just accent light, just adding a little bit of color toning right here, but it's not really doing very much for the, for the, uh, for the brightness. So, um, right, so if you kind of go in that direction right there, and so you can see we have cool light right here and adding just this little bit of warmth right there on that side of the face. Next level gorgeous. See, so, and then if you do that pose, do that pose, but scoot with your body a little bit closer to the edge so that this light comes across right there. Yeah, perfect. So, now this is a really good classic pose, and um, it's really good because it really brings out the curves. So what we want to do, though, if we want to accentuate that curve. And so, um, Jess, if you bend your right leg, keep your bottom leg straight, yeah, perfect. And then get your arm and um, your right arm, keep that arm up, yeah, and then get your right arm and then rest it on the widest part of the hip, right there, and then get your shoulder and kind of roll it forward, um, your uh, right shoulder, keep that arm where it is, roll it back just a little bit, yeah, perfect. And then clear your hair behind your back. Okay, so, and then get your foot and then keep your knees where it is, but just get your foot and sink it behind your other, um, no, keep your legs where they are, but just get your foot behind your leg. Yeah, perfect. And then bring this top leg, uh, bend it just a little bit more, and then get this shoulder and then roll it up, your right shoulder. Yeah, perfect. And then sink this arm down just a little bit. And so what we want to do is... We have her, when she rolls her, her right shoulder forward just a little bit, it accentuates this hip to waist ratio. And then when you have the hand on the widest part of the hip, that also does that. Now, um, now Jess, bring your arm. I'll show you. See, so right here, so you see how her arm is now blocking that contour. 
and it's further it's further on right there. And so what that does is it kind of uh, lessens the hip to waist ratio. With the hand on the widest part of the hip and the elbow sinking behind, yeah, perfect. And then roll that shoulder forward just a tiny bit, a little bit less, yeah. And then, um, so that gives us the best hip to waist ratio. The bent leg on the top puts pressure on the hip joint, also hip to waist ratio, and it gives that kind of hourglass mermaid effect. <laughs>